Hello everybody and welcome back to another Vintage Fans and More video review brought to you again today by Casablanca Fan Company. In this video we're continuing to look at the Casablanca 2016 lineup. This time they've provided me with the Orchid Ceiling Fan which is the smallest introduction for this model year and one of Casablanca's smallest fans overall in the history of the company. Now this is a little ceiling fan that has a lot going for it so I'm going to move right into providing you with some of the technical details. As far as finishes go, the Orchid is available in Pewter Revival with either an architectural white blade set or the walnut blades as shown on my fan. This fan arrives with the blades already assembled to the motor straight out of the box, so there's a little bit less assembly required. It has only a 30 inch blade span, but this is a fan with a great visual impact. It's definitely going to be a statement piece in whatever room you put it in. Clearly with the length of the included down rod, you're going to be looking at higher ceilings for installation but this fan has quite a bit of power behind it for such a small fan, so it's going to do well in those applications. The Orchid moves 2,855 cubic feet of air per minute on high speed, and that's utilizing a 172 by 12 millimeter motor. Overall, these numbers rank on the higher end for small ceiling fans. It moves quite a bit of air for its size and has quite a sizable motor too. This fan does not have a listed blade pitch, but you can clearly see that the blades are pitched much more steeply than more conventional ceiling fan designs. This fan is damp rated and the blades are ABS plastic, so they'll hold up in a damp environment. The Orchid includes an integrated LED light kit, which throws out 20 2200 lumens. It is definitely bright and I'm really satisfied with the color temperature of the LEDs themselves. Also included is Casablanca's universal control system. It includes the battery operated wall control. You can also buy the 99020 remote accessory separately if you want a handheld remote. One downside I found with the LED light kit is that it doesn't dim. However, I was more concerned with the light output overall. In a small room, this fan probably could light up the space very nicely. Now, I saw pictures of this fan turn up over a year and a half ago from the Dallas Market Lighting Show, which is now called Lightovation, and I've been waiting eagerly ever since for it to be released. I just have to give props to the design team at Casablanca. I think this design is genius. It breaks new ground in small ceiling fans. It's like absolutely nothing we've ever seen before. It is kind of a design that you either like or you don't. It's not in everybody's taste, but I think that most people can appreciate what this design brings to the world of small ceiling fans. As I mentioned in my last review for Casablanca, I'm loving the canopy shapes on these new fans. It provides just the right amount of differentiation from the Hunter lineup, which I think is really important for Casablanca to have. Another thing I'm loving about Casablanca's lineup this year, and the ceiling fan industry in general right now, is the comeback of truly unique finishes. These finishes, like the Pewter Revival on the Orchid, are a little bit off-center from conventional, but they'll blend seamlessly with other finishes already in your space or finishes that you want to implement into your space. So for example, the pewter revival of the Orchid could mix with pewter, nickel, or even chrome elements in your space. There are even hints of gold or bronzy tones in this finish, so those elements could be introduced into your space as well. For a while, the ceiling fan industry was kind of caught up in the very basic white bronze and brushed nickels. I'm kind of seeing them pulling out of that now and going back to some of the creative things we saw in the 1990s with a lot of colors and textures being implemented back into finish options. I'm sure by this point you are ready to see the fan in motion, so here it is on low speed. Looking at the published specifications, I was concerned that low speed was going to be entirely too fast but I think there's been some oversight in what's been published because this low speed is actually quite decent for a small fan. This is a fan that I find entirely mesmerizing to watch. It looks different from every angle that you look at it, and I think it could just introduce a lot of motion into a space that it's installed in. Now we're up to high speed, and I am so impressed with the air movement on such a small fan. It also produces very unique patterns of air movement. You get air out to the sides, as well as the usual vortex that you'd expect right underneath. It really is incredible though, because with a small ceiling fan, you usually don't feel very much air movement elsewhere in the room. But with this fan, I can stand across the room and I feel quite a bit of air movement coming out of it. At this point, I'll throw you guys to the clips so that you can see this fan at some different angles, and then I'll be right back to finish up the video.
usual, the fan is spinning down and I'll finish up for you guys. I think the Orchid is an amazing introduction to the Casablanca lineup. It provides a great option when you need a smaller fan on a higher ceiling. It provides both excellent air movement and light output, and it's overall just beautiful to watch in motion. If you liked today's video, be sure to let me know in the comments below or on any of my social media platforms. Be sure to like Vintage Fans and more on Facebook, or follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat. And you can always let Casablanca Fan Company know that you like seeing their products here at Vintage Fans and more. Again, I'll offer Casablanca Fan Company my gratitude for always supporting what I do here at Vintage Fans and More. It's always an honor to feature brand new Casablanca products right here. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.